So then, where was he? Running his dad's business. Trying to win her heart. <laughs> didn't work. Well, she invited him to the wedding. I didn't want him there, but, well, you know Sadie. Uh-huh. Well, the Gordons own most of the property around here, including the 200 acres surrounding that hill. Right. And he built a house. A house? W wait, that house? The very same. Looks like it was a mansion. It was. Why'd he build it? Ah, I don't know. To remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, what happened to the wealthy Gary Gordon and his mansion? Well, he built it one year. Must have been 1966 or so. And he went inside and he just disappeared. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm and boom. No more Gary Gordon. No more Gary Gordon. Huh. Maybe he was lonely, too. Maybe. Yeah. All right, you win. What next? Oh. Don't you own a tractor? Well, pigs I get. Goats, too. Some fellas have chickens and cows. That's all well and good, but what's the point of a horse? Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. <laughs> what? You just keep a horse around because they're beautiful? Horses belong on farms. Uh-huh. Ah, you know you haven't got a saddle for them, so you don't ride them. There's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Gotta have a horse. Uh, and what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful, really. Beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong with that. Aren't you going to say something? <laughs> One day. One day, maybe this fella will understand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick, too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. Suit yourself. All right, here you go, boy. No, no, I got to get going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest? Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. What's the wheelbarrow for? Hauling. Hauling what? Shit. Ah, and what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now, it's October, but we're going to put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Well, you did say you wanted to help. Yeah, guess I did. So help. Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day? Mm-hmm. Most every day. And you want to keep doing this every day? It's my routine. Shoveling shit? Someone's got to do it. <laughs> that, uh, that isn't the first time you've told me that. Oh, yeah? Vietnam. Yeah. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. Know what I found? Uh, I reckon you'll tell me. You went back. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not going to talk about it. Come on. 
no. Suit yourself. You've got a medal. You didn't have to go back. You had a wife and kid here. At a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home. You went back. You going somewhere with this? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? While we're shoveling shit? I was recon. You know that, I reckon. I was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines next to me on the bed. And I... I had this, uh... Moment. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. And the revelation was this. Them protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? The Vietnamese? The Russians? No. no. The news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Vietnam, that was our first time that close to war. So, uh, I figured... Uh, you figured? You ain't the only one of us who's killed people. Why do you think I offered you that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. You weren't recon when you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. I fought in a different way. Did you win? We pulled out a NAM, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And now you're here. Great big war hero. Shuffling shit. Yeah. Shoveling shit. You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yet, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. Tried cows once. Bill raised a neuter or something, but uh, when it died. Well, most people have, I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. Is that uh, judgment I hear? <laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering. Why goats? Goat milk. Ah, the 